Hi guys, welcome to next video of our Git basics series that we are talking about. In our last video, we discussed a lot more details about the Git basics and stuff, but we didn't really had an opportunity to understand what is this a Git file that we just added using this uh, Git add command, and it suddenly went to a uh, commit state. And then there is some untracked files and there is like a file which still needs to be uh, pushed, something like that. So what is this really happening at the moment? If you are like me and like many people who are trying to learn Git in the first instance had these questions, then this is going to be your answers. Well, you can see currently all the files which is available on our directory on the Cypress demo folder are all untracked files because those are added on the Git repository locally, but they didn't really had an opportunity to be available for Git itself because we have not really added all the files within the Git repository. It can be local or it can be remote. We're not even talking about remote yet. We're just talking about the local so far. And all the files are currently in the untracked file state. And once we modify any of the file, let's say even we edit a file, the unmodified state, and then once we edit it, you can see that it is going to go to the modified state. And once you add a file, like how I did, like git add a file, the untracked file suddenly went to a staged state, which is something that you just saw over here, like this new file package.json file. But still there are untracked files like these three files, which are still untracked as we know, and it has to be somehow checked into the code. But once we start checking in the code within the repository, then even more things will start happen like unmodified, modified and coming, going back to the stage and from stage to going back to these states. We'll probably talk about these things now. So what I'm going to do is we currently have not added all these three files and it is currently still in the untracked file state. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an add and then I'm going to add the cypress.json file as well. So like cypress.json. And then if I just do a git status, you can see that two files will be added and there are two more files. And there is a nice little trick that you can do is once you do a git add, and if you put dot, which means the current context of the particular directory, and if you hit enter, then all the files within that particular current context, which is the Cypress demo folder, are going to be added for you. And now if you do a git status, you will see all the files are being checked in. So basically within the git folder, uh, the Cypress folder, uh, you will see there are so many other uh, JS spec file of Cypress. It has been checked in as well. And now if I do a git status, uh, you will see all the files and everything are currently added. And it also tells that uh, these are the changes to be committed and there is no untracked files. So all the files currently are in the staged state. So we have to somehow commit the file so that we can talk about these things, the unmodified and modified states and stuff. So let's try doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a uh, probably git of commit. And then uh, even before doing that, let's try to modify this code. So I'm just going to open this code in the Visual Studio code over here. And let's say I'm going to modify the first test uh, with an space, something like this. And I'm just going to save this file. And once I do that, you will see that there is a source control pending state and there is an M state which is coming up in Visual Studio, like modified. I mean, Visual Studio Code is more intelligent enough to do that for us, but I'm not going to be worried about that yet. I'm going to close this and let's do a git status once again. You will see that there is a modified file. So this is the modified file that we're talking about. We just modified the first test.ts file and this file has now been modified. Even the terminal is telling me that there is one uncommitted files for us. So this is the um, unmodified state to a modified state. So we are editing a file from the unmodified file state, which was being tracked and it has been modified. And now it has went to the modified state, which is this state that we are looking at. And once we modify, we still have to either stage the file by using the add. So you can see that this is like 
add command that we need to be doing to update uh, what we have committed and then once we are in the state state we can do a commit to commit all the changes so i will talk about all these things now so let's do this git add of the cypress uh, integration of first test.ts which i have just modified uh, and then i have added it and now if i just do a git status you will see there is no change so far which is cool so all these things at the moment are all happening within our local git repository that we are we are talking about so these are all things that git is doing for us over here within our local machine we have not even checked in this code anywhere on a cloud repository so if you keep doing all these things i mean it's going to be pretty good for you because uh, you are doing it uh, within your uh, local machine so even if you try to open the uh, visual studio code you will see there is a git uh, like, a, like a source control over there like there are some pending changes all these changes are coming up uh, for you which is all good uh, and uh, you will see that these are all been version controlled, like dot 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 which means it's it's version controlled in terms of uh, the visual studio code which is all good i mean it's all happening for you within your local machine but we need to tell or we need to make use of what is called as a remote repository where we can actually push this particular code so that we can start using it and this is how it's going to be happening within our organization as well we will have a a repository uh, either in the github or bitbucket or gitlabs or wherever uh, that you are familiar with or even azure devops and we might need to check out the code or check in the code that we are modifying or push the code changes that we have that did so far on that particular remote repository so this is a local repository that we are talking so far we need to talk about the remote repository of checking in the code all right as i said we have now just added all the files into the staged state and now we need to do a commit even within our local repository so which we have not did yet i mean we are going to do commit in our next video as well into the git repository or github repository but we are going to do that locally and we'll see how it actually works so in order to do that we are just going to do this we are going to do git and there's a command called as commit where we can give a message as hyphen m we'll talk about this in even more detail in our next video but yes this is how it is going to be and then we need to give a message here saying added all the files for the first time and i'm going to hit enter and you will see that all the files are now in the create mode state so this create mode state uh, with the file number 10064 means that this is the file which is currently in the create mode state and now it is currently available in the master branch and you can see that it, this is currently in the green color. So this is for the first time we are doing a commit. But in our next video we are going to see how we can do the same commit once again and we're going to see how we can add this code on the GitHub repository in much greater detail. Thank you.